Good morning, good morning, good morning. Debbie's got me busy this morning. <laughs> and so it begins. We took out the Ikea couch. And actually, Chris is going to use it for the time being for his schoolie. So right now, Jim's getting ready to build a slat bed. And just figuring out all the stuff. We got the mattress in today, the futon mattress. I'm excited about it because you know what else? Down on that end, which is where <coughs> I sit on that end down there when we're sitting here having coffee I don't ever have anywhere to put my coffee except up there by the sink and he has this little table so now he's going to build me a tiny tiny little table right there which he said it won't hold much stuff inside of the little cabinet but it actually will hold some of my music books sideways in there and my computer in there. So I think it's gonna be wonderful. I'm so excited. So this is the eight inch encased coil or something like that. It's called futon mattress and it's in charcoal gray. So I'm really excited about the color and about the mattress. Mattress came highly recommended to us. People that have used it said it was really great. We bought it through Walmart dot com we'll let you know how that is here's Chris back here working on um customizing the couch customizing <laughs> the demolishing <laughs> customizing the couch to make it fit in his space because of the wheel wheels we had to customize it a bit so he's putting it in a slightly different space so He's going to customize it a little bit more, but Pretty excited. Excited. Yeah, already got it cut out. Great. Yeah, I just need to uh, make this leg on this side. Oh, yeah. You have so a leg good. on that side. Yep. Yay. That's looking good. It's pretty much done. Yep. Good. This is a slat bed. And. I'm using inch and a half finish material and I'm giving it an eighth of an inch between each piece for the slide out. Um, on the front here it's all nailed to this piece and then on the back it'll be nailed to a um, 1x4 that I already have nailed to the wall or screwed to the wall. So I'll just nail it out. I've already marked it all. All I have to do is set it in there. Now I've just got to cut little legs for this end and the stationary part will be done okay okie dokie hey, what you doing a, doing a layout for the pull out portion of the slat bed nice yeah you can see all the little marks and the little x's maybe that shows me the x's shows me where the slats are going to be and then this will be cut off and then we'll put all the pieces in between and we'll show nice. you how to get that done nice going to cut it right now okay I'm going to take a look in Chris's bus, see what's going on in here. He's got his his couch. He now has a couch. Mm -hmm. I'm actually looking up blankets <laughs> for the couch right now. Blankets to put over the couch so Kobuk has a place to lay. That's right. To lie. The tricky part is, is it's like literally big. Which, which I'll behind you there. The, the, the tricky uh, part is, is uh, all the patterns I'm finding doesn't ship here until the ones I really like don't ship here until October 19th or so. Oh no. And I think all of us are going to be on the road by then. We hope so. That's right. We are going to. It's not a hope so. We hope so. so. Yeah. We I'd are like going to be on the road by then, right? We want to be yep. on the road before Debbie's birthday, October 6th. That's, That's pretty up. soon. Where do you want me to go? In here? Out of my way. i got to get through. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, that'll be some good footage there. <laughs> Toby's going right now, bud. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> so this is the uh, back one's for the front and one's for the back. Uh -huh. Okay. And then uh, these have to be about twenty-eight and a quarter. Is that correct? Twenty-eight and three quarters. Twenty-eight and three quarters. Mm-hmm. I wrote it down, but. 
Okay, 28 and 3 quarters. Mm -hmm. So, they don't have to be exact, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a pattern here. <laughs> Isn't it handy? What? <laughs> no, that you have your saw in Chris's bus so we can make a mess in here rather than well, outside or in the garage. Out, right? Yeah. I said I was going to move it outside so I didn't make such a mess. <laughs> He said, oh, I'm going to do a mess or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't want to put the one that I've marked. Is that it? Yep. Okay. So, I mark one pattern. And Kobuk is watching. He is. He's making sure I do it right. Mm -hmm. And once I get it, I just cut my line out. Use my pattern every time, and that's going to have me pretty close. <laughs> He's like Maisie. He's laying down. To drink. Laying down to drink. Maisie does that often, and lays down to eat even. Get you some more boards? Yeah, you can okay. get some more. Took over the camera. Oh, yeah, okay. What you got going on there, Jim? Hey, we're building a bus. <laughs> <laughs> a never-ending project. Never-ending project, but we love it, don't we? Yeah, that's yeah, fun. Okay. Right now I'm putting flats on the slider. You can grab them, make sure that the, if there's a label on it that it goes down on the same side you put the glue on and you can put some glue on it or just grab them for me either way. Uh, whoops. That's why I need a hammer up here. Thank you. It got glue on it. Yes, it did. I already experienced that. Got glue on it. We're just putting one nail in it right now. Okay. And that way, if we get it up there, work? we can adjust it. No. Oh. We can adjust it, and it will be square. Oh. Thank you, baby. Yeah. Well, another time. It shot twice. Sure did. I saw that. I'm not all that happy with this gun. Is the camera making you nervous? No. It's the camera. <laughs> not the camera. I've actually had trouble with this gun quite a few times since I bought it. twice that time, but it didn't get the second nail out. Don't let it. Don't let it control you.
know. So what you got going on there? Well, we're making legs. There you go. Now you're cooking. Oh, oh, it's uh, it's just, there you go. You can do it. There we got it. Okay. And this is the part that I need help on. This one's This one's rubbing was rubbing against the other one. See how that feels. Where is this? Now that, to me, feels fine. Let's try that, Chris. I put one of on there, too, if you don't really think you want one of those on there. Okay. How's that? Put that behind there. It's fine. Yeah. I still think I should have leaned it back. Okay, baby, uh, we finished uh, the couch. Almost have a couple things left to do, but so what do you think? I really like it. It's so much more comfortable than the I Ikea couch. It doesn't come out as far into the middle of the room. And the color is fabulous because it shows dirt a lot less. And we have had a lot of dirt coming in and out during the bus building, which I know during traveling it may not be as much, but still. And it felt like on the Ikea couch, you start going like this, laying <laughs> way down. Every once in a while, you have to set yourself back up. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have that problem here. And my feet can touch the floor oh, when I'm sitting with my back flat here. Flat-footed, look at so, that. So, yeah, that's pretty amazing. So, love it. Thank you to my wonderful husband. It's breakfast yes. time. You are very wonderful. Breakfast is ready. And breakfast is keto, keto breakfast. Yep. There you go.